What's up, friends? It's Voltfire Core. Welcome back to Pokemon Showdown. Now, if you guys have been on the Pokemon Showdown side of YouTube, you've probably heard of a YouTuber called The Garbador. Now, he's the uh, person that uh, got me into Pokemon Showdown. He's a great dude. Highly advise subscribing to him. But earlier inside of his channel, he did a challenge on Pokemon Showdown where he used every single gym leader's team and took it to OU or Ubers inside of Generation 7. So I decided that I'm going to do that. We're going to start from Generation 1 and go all the way to Generation 8. So let me show you the team that we're going to be using. Alright, and here's the team that we're going to be using. That was a little cut right there, so you know. This is the Expert World Leader Tournament. This is on Bulbapedia, and inside of Pokemon Black and White, I mean Black and White 2, you could go against um, quite a bit of the gym leaders. And I'm going to be using his second team, and this is the team. Now, as you know, Brock uses mostly Rock-type Pokemon, since he's the Rock-type gym leader of Generation 1. But I think his team is decent, at least. I think the strongest Pokemon he has is the Tyranitar, and I think the Rhyperior is going to be able to hold his own. But if we go against like a water type or something, we're probably going to get clobbered. I don't know why he has an Onix on his team. It's, it's painful. He has an Onix. Not even a Steelix, an Onix. But we're going to try out this team against Generation 7 OU. Okay, here it is. So this is Gym Leader 1. Brock. Now, Brock is a cool trainer. Like, he's really cool. He was inside the anime for a big chunk of it, and he has an interesting personality and some good memes, too. But um, here's the team ported over to Pokemon Showdown. We have Dog Party, but that's fine. Here's the team. Very fun. Very epic. I um, had to give them uh, Eevees and Ivies because they did not uh, specify what those were inside of the uh, Bulbapedia page. Hmm, I had to move my recording setup, so there are going to be a lot of cuts in this video. But let's take on Generation 7 OU with, uh, with Brock's team. Now, like I said, this team's going to get clobbered, but it's fine. So... I changed my profile picture to Brock for obvious reasons. So we're going to start off with, um, Rhyperior. Okay, that works. Um, I think we have Ice Punch on this dude. Yeah, we have Avalanche. So I'm just going to Avalanche him. Actually, what does Avalanche do? Mm, oh, so it has negative priority. Okay, um, yep, and he's gonna get avalanched. Take that. Now, um, instead of, um, Brock's team, he has a lot of coverage moves for some reason. Um, now avalanche is gonna be super effective on this dude again, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use avalanche again. But he hit me, so probably should have expected that and switched, but it's fun. I think I'm going to switch into, um, yeah, Kabutops. So since I have a Focus Sash, I'm going to use Swords Dance and uh, try and get some attack because Kabutops can't really do much. Okay, so we have the Sash and I think we're going to be able to Waterfall him. Okay, there we go. We're doing pretty good. I have a feeling he's going to put out the, uh, the Bisharp, and use uh, and use Sucker Punch. So, um, being an epic ninja, I'm going to Source Dance again, and expect his Sucker Punch. He's a genius! He's a genius! <laughs> oh, oh, he's a genius. Mm, okay, okay, fair enough. Ah, <sighs> probably should have seen that coming. It's fine. Okay, he's um most likely expecting. A ground type move and he's gonna switch into Latios so I'm gonna use Ice Fang. What am I doing? Oh I froze him! I froze him! 
Okay, I gotta stop trying to do all these crazy predictions. So I'm just gonna switch into Golem and Earthquake him and stuff. Uh, I need to stop doing all this stuff, okay? I'm good. Uh, I'm perfectly fine. So I'm gonna Rock Polish so I can get some speed because Golem's kinda slow. And then we're gonna sweep, alright? We're gonna sweep. Okay, so what are we gonna do? We do have Sucker Punch, so we could do that. So I'm gonna Sucker Punch him. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. We have Sturdy, so we're good. He's most likely gonna try and like set up or something, so I'm just gonna keep spamming Sucker Punch. Okay. Sometimes you have like a war with people, like, no, I'm gonna Sucker Punch, because Sucker Punch only works, just like a Sucker Punch, if the person uses an actual move. So we have pretty good speed, but actually we have speed better than Gardevoir. So he might try to use like, uh, yeah, I'm just going to use Earthquake. Yeah, and do some good damage. But, um, if the Gardevoir wanted to, it could have like tried to predict my Sucker Punch and like went for uh, like a Calm Mind or something. So Gardevoir is pretty fast. But our Aerodactyl is faster. So, um, since we are uh, Choice Scarf, we're going to be locked into a move. So I'm going to do the one that's going to do the most damage, which is going to be Earthquake. So that means we're locked into Earthquake, so we can take out Tyranitar and Bisharp. We're actually doing pretty good. I was expecting this team to be a little um, abused, since it's very rock-heavy. But this dude, um, he had some... Pokemon that have some bad matchups for us. Like, they had some energy ball moves and probably some ice moves in there. But we're doing pretty good. The Brock team is holding out. But I'll probably do this a little bit more than my normal Pokemon Showdown videos because it's fun to do Pokemon Showdown videos, but I can't just make a team and play it. It's a lot more interesting to have a theme team. So, Tyranitar is bulky, and he's going to Dragon Claw me, but that's fine. We're just going to try and get as much damage as possible with Earthquake. Ah, okay, so he got a crit. Fair enough. Now, eh, eh, I don't know if we're faster. We're probably... We're, we're probably slower than this Tyranitar, but who knows. So I'm going to go for an... Uh, I want to be able to do something with Bisharp, but I'm just going to go for a Ice Punch. Yeah, there we go. You know, you got to get that, uh, that Lucky Freeze, maybe. Oh, I forgot. This dude's actually frozen, so... Yeah, there we go. I'm going to just uh, Stone Edge... He thought out, goes for a sword stance. We're going to stone Stonehenge, not going to do much. Yeah, we don't really have anything to take out this Bisharp. So maybe I'll just try to paralyze it. Yeah, sure, let's try to paralyze it to death. No, nah, it's fine. He'll just headbutt me brutally. And now, unfortunately, we're stuck with Onyx, uh, the Savage himself. He's, he, he's not too strong. And he's um he's pretty dense, but we're just gonna go for earthquake and uh and hope. So we are faster, but okay guys, okay. If he has sucker punch, we're dead. <sighs> I, I have to go for earthquake. Don't have sucker punch. <sighs> oh okay. I don't know why his Bisharp didn't have Sucker Punch. Maybe he didn't know how it worked, but um, Sucker Punch goes first. So I, if he had it, he probably would have clicked it. I'm kind of surprised that... Uh, okay, let's go for an instant replay, actually. And uh, let's uh, switch sides. Okay, so can I see what he clicks? No, I can't see what his uh, moves are. Unfortunately, but that's fine. So there we go. We beat... We, we beat a dude. We, we beat a dude. With our Brock team. 
So I think we're going to do two battles, since that's probably more fun. So let's do uh, another Gen 7 OU. I kind of want the uh, the opponent to have like a water type or a grass type or something. Or maybe even a, even a fighting type, so they could just like demolish the team. All right. Oh, this battle. Whew. I've been training for this my entire life. Let's do this. Okay, so we got Butterfree here. Butterfree on me. So we're gonna just gonna go for Aerodactyl, and we're just gonna use a Rock type move. We're faster, I think. So we're just gonna Rock type move, and let's and, and let's end this right now. Rock slide. Let's do it. Okay, has Focus Sash. Is gonna put me to sleep. Isn't there sleep claws? Okay, so we're gonna switch out. Do we have any priority? We do, so we have Sucker Punch. So I'm gonna switch into this. Haha. -ha. I actually think this dude's uh, plan is uh, gonna fail because I have Sturdy, and Sturdy kinda makes these uh, sweep teams kinda easy to defeat. So I'm just gonna go for Sucker Punch, but even if I didn't have Sucker Punch, I probably still could have beat him up since I have Sturdy, so he can't one-shot me. Um, so this dude doesn't know there's something called sleep claws. Um, this only works instead of Pokemon Showdown. It's basically you can't put more than one Pokemon to sleep and be a be a little annoying troll. So we're just going to a uh, Stone Edge, um, Stone Edge, and uh, beat him up. <laughs> so um, um, we got two out of two guys with our uh, Brock team. I think we did pretty well. I like this team a lot. I'm probably not going to use it too much since it's still a full rock type team and it has an onyx in it, but this is a fun little series that I'm probably going to do. Next video is going to be Misty, the water type gym leader. Thank you guys for watching and keep on the lookout for my videos.